sauna a couple of bits here guys just uh just getting ready hold on just getting ready just changing up a uh, a few things here we are at a different side of the airport today so uh we just hit the live button i'm just going to wait for the uh the internet to head on through hopefully we'll be okay with a few bits and bobs there but obviously this is uh a different side we're surrounded by quite a lot of metal here today so i'm just going to uh roll with the frame rates and see seconds guys right so i'm at a different side of uh, the airport now guys two seconds good morning i might have just moved that around just a second so if you give me a second just making sure that we've run our tests correctly on here but very good morning right so we are a different side today we will have the departures as well plus we have all of the heavy at the moment i might have to uh, change a few bits around but just currently waiting for the uh, the internet to boost itself and uh, get a steady steady signal so but as I said, I'm surrounded by quite a lot of metal today. If I have to move around, I'm sure you'll understand, but uh, the views will once again speak for themselves. We are currently, uh, the radio is tuned to the ground as well, so you should get a bit earlier today. But I just wanted to test a few things to make sure that we was okay. As I said, I'm surrounded by a lot of metal. We are surrounded by quite a lot of metal guys here. So just wanted to make sure. We are trialing at this second. So this is the first time I'm using the equipment here on this side. I'm glad that we uh, we went live just that little bit earlier. So we're here with the heavies this side, uh, this time. Bowie Hobbyman, thank you very much. So we should get the departures as well here today, guys. So beautiful A380 over there in the background. Hope you can all see that, looking beautiful. So I'm just gonna keep an eye, as I said, on uh, some of the internet settings. But uh, we're in a new place here. It's the first time I've actually tested the internet conditions on We are tuned in to the ground as well here guys so you should be able to see all of these uh, sorry here all of these aircraft with uh, everything going on but you can probably see an Airbus A380 over there from Emirates Craig Fearbomb so a bit of a test but there is the A380 and if we have a look around this time we're here with the heavy aircraft on this side but we was uh, trialing and testing a few bits out so I'm wondering what they're doing with uh, the A380 over there at this precise second looks like it's uh, just holding over the background probably see a beautiful cafe now lifting into the sky stunning stunning stuff beautiful cafe 350 We are very lucky, windside, I believe, are blowing from the northeast. So you get all the ground movements and hopefully the departures as well. And very good morning to you. As I said, sorry about uh, little tiny bits of the internet blips. I'm surrounded by a lot of metal and I'm a different side today. So we're just going to uh, roll with a few things here. But welcome along once again. Hope you're all doing fantastic. Right, so let's get round to some of these comments if we're good. Uh, Wayne, Mods, how are you doing? Bruce, Roy J, uh, Debbie, Clive, how are you doing? Tina York, Terry Stapley, uh, Miss Walls, Paul Matten, how are you doing? Hope you're all doing well. Uh, in front of us as well, we have uh, Papa Hotel Alpha Kilo Bravo, which is an Airbus A330. As you can probably see, nicknamed the Flying Dutchman looking beautiful and the airbus a380 over there in the background 
uh, Wayne, how are you doing? Tina York, uh, Don O'Brien, how are you doing? Cyclist, uh, cyclist, how are you doing? Roadhog, Stephen Rouse, how are you doing? Very, very good morning to you all. Uh, actually, it's just gone afternoon, hasn't it? Uh, Joel Cohn, how are you doing? Chavs, afternoon to you. Brad, uh, Richard Multara, Conrad Rowe. Uh, Gisela, afternoon to you. Hope you're doing very, very well. Just going to uh, turn that up into 1080. Uh, Chavs on a problem. Debbie 13. So it's uh, still over there at the moment. They've got to, uh, I don't know what they're doing with it at the second. Be lovely if that turned up around here, but I think it might be too big. Uh, Eugene McGeever, how are you doing? Adrian Cox, afternoon to you. Colette Coles, how are you doing? Uh, Lost Soul. As I said, that was my uh, my fault, guys. I was just running through some of the internet settings. I just wanted to make sure that everything was perfect. Uh, Marinda, Roy J. Uh, Cassie King, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Debbie 13, Alan Campion, how are you doing? Ooh, very nice. So currently on the push, Papa Hotel, Bravo, Victor Foxtrot. KLM triple seven, just being pushed back from the gate. Let me get you a little bit of a close up as well there guys on the registration, and I wanted to uh, see that. Dave uh, A010, how are you doing? Hope you're doing very well. Uh, Richard Brown, thank you very much. Nick, thank you so much. Brad saying the A350 1000 was beautiful point. Well, the A350 beautiful. The Tarim A318, pretty much a regular over here at, uh, at, in Amsterdam as well as in uh, London Heathrow. It's quite nice that we're able to see the departures as well today. Very busy on the Panorama Terrace. So the beautiful triple seven in front. Uh, Debbie 13 saying, uh, just, Chris, uh, just thanks Chris, have a beer later. I will probably have a coffee as I'm driving uh, home tonight. I would love a, a Heineken, but I just don't think uh, I'm going to be able to do it. James Gledhill, how are you doing? But honestly, Debbie, thank you very much. Uh, PXBS, James Cridland, Joel Cohn, how you doing? Mark Bottoms, uh, morning from Alabama, first time checking in, hope everyone is doing well. I'm doing very well and I hope you are too, my friend. Lovely airport sounds plus departures. Donna O'Brien, thank you so much, honestly Donna, I really, really appreciate that. And I hope you're going to enjoy the afternoon or the few hours here at Shiphole. Replacing our Stansted stream, but uh, as I'm sure you can understand, this might just be uh, that little bit better. Richard Ellen, thank you so much. Stuart Aslett, afternoon to you. Nick, afternoon. Stuart Luscombe, how are you doing? You, Seth, Roadhogs, and the baby bus there. Uh, Saeed Hadidi saying hello, how are you doing? Kyle M. and Brian now, heading out. Slight right hand turn. And I believe that was zero nines that they was operating from today, I believe. Please do correct me if I am wrong. As I said, I spent, uh, when I got back to the hotel last night, I was trying to uh, do a little bit more education on myself. And uh, obviously the runways, but there are so many. Nick Sand, the giant of the skies. Adam Perry, in afternoon, Chris. Good to try new spots, hope it holds. Always good, my friend. This is why I always put a later time of starting, guys. But uh, when we do go live earlier than the uh, the scheduled time, hopefully it irons out all of them little problems that we have, and then we can continue the stream perfectly. Lots and lots of uh, departures already, it's looking like, over there. Adam Perrin, Ben York, good morning from Atlanta. Good morning to you. Hope you're doing very, very well. Uh, Stephen Rouse, yes it was. I just moved around a bit here, so uh, fingers crossed we are all good. Turkish Airlines 321 over there as well, just heading in for taxi. Uh, Richard Multara, I do agree, my friend. There's uh, a lot of the UK airports could benefit majorly from this. Joel Cohn saying, beautiful blue skies, it is lovely here. The sun was out this morning, it was very, very misty as well. Um, here this morning when I was leaving the hotel, 
So I sat down uh, downstairs and uh, just had a cup of coffee, had a bottle of water and, and just enjoyed. Bruce, thank you so much for that, honestly, Bruce. I really, really appreciate that. So that should make a left turn, I believe, unless he's going straight in. Nope, he might be heading next to the Delta aircraft that we've got over to the right-hand side. Beautiful, beautiful close-up views of the Turkish. Light the fires, kick the tires, how are you doing? Clive Everly, morning to you, mate. Hope you're doing very, very well. Hello to everyone on Facebook as well. Hope you're having a fantastic, fantastic day. Local time here, 13.05, and we are this side with the heavies today. Oh, no, actually, he's going to be parking next to the KLM Dreamliner. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Uh, Ronald Dupre, thank you so much for that, Ronald. I really, really appreciate it. Debbie 13, uh, who was that, Steve? Oh, hang on, that is Daniel Jagus. Yeah, Jagus, and uh, hi from the, uh, oh, what was that, the Midwest in the US. How are you doing? You lot are amazing. The KLM, oh, hang on, if we turn out. Well, I'm just going to let it go for a second, guys. Right, so I'm just going to let these uh, little blips, just while it's trying to catch its uh, internet signal, I'm just going to let the blips go. So there might be uh, a blip every... Uh, every uh, which so ever, but uh, while we're here... I'm sure you can understand. Brand new position for us, so just trying to get round to uh, all of the stuff. Or all of the uh, the good settings. It's all a learning curve when we uh, when we go overseas, guys. Especially when we're around a lot of metal. And obviously a very public place, so a lot of uh, internet may be being... So we may be okay at the second. See if that makes it any better. Looks like they are towing. Papa 3 will hold Papa 3 to have the 5 Bravo. Any idea how long it will take? Not yet, stand by. 
Right, so I have now moved, guys. As I said, running a test up here. Uh, Tina, potentially it's, I think it's the location because as, as we said yesterday, we didn't have any problems, did we? We ran for four and a bit hours yesterday. Bravo. They are actually bringing an A380 right, in here. Right, so I have moved. We're going to uh, try a few different things here on this. But I have moved around. As we said yesterday, we was in a very sort of open place. Uh, here there are a lot of people. So we're just gonna potentially run and I'm gonna keep an eye on things. And we are very, very lucky that they are actually bringing the A380 right in front of us. Absolutely incredible. I said guys, I have to sort some of these things out. This is the first time I've been to Amsterdam with the new equipment. Very, very nice. So I've moved into more of an open place. Uh, Brian Cox, we're just gonna, we're gonna run with it. This precise moment. I've got a bit of a better signal here than I did have uh, where I was moments ago, but I was surrounded, as I said, by uh, quite a lot of metal. And there was a lot of people here. Gillian Sankey, how are you doing? Cassie San Benji would be enjoying himself every bit. So the beautiful Emirates A380 being towed in. And if we have a look round to the right. in Etihad Manchester City livery the blue liner would be lovely if that could uh, turn up here we'd be in for a right real treat but who knows Roadhog well I'm, uh, as I said I'm just gonna keep uh, everything going at the second but as I said this would be lovely if this turned up here in front of us we would have the ultimate dream team in front of us Flugelshaft hello to you Oh. I cannot believe that they put the Emirates A380 here. I am. That is absolutely phenomenal. We have been well treated. Very, very well treated. We actually might be lucky as well to have the special livery, the Etihad. Please, please, please. Uh, Give us this aircraft. Flugel Shaft, how are you doing? And three Luss, how are you doing? Zappy Fly saying, well done Chris. Are you staying over? Uh, if so, where was it any good? Thanks for the spot. Uh, Zappy Fly, I was, uh, I stayed over here last night. I was asleep very early, I was exhausted yesterday. I stayed in the Ibis, uh, the Ibis Amsterdam Hotel yesterday. It was really good and it was uh, McDonald's uh, that apparently is a spotting area. So that was a good shout. Craig Howe, loving the Manchester City livery and Craig, fingers crossed. Hopefully we've sorted all of that internet problem out. Fingers crossed, just in time for this. We have uh, a KLM A330 right in front of us at the moment though. So the towel is currently uh, hiding the 787. There's a Delta over there as well, the 330 that's just been cracking time here. Just wish I could uh, get the internet running just that little bit more smoother. Yeah, but we're, uh, we're rolling with it. Adam Romelli saying, how are you guys doing? I'm doing amazing, mate. Yeah, Flugelshaw is a very good uh, location. With it. I didn't realise it was so close hello, to that McDonald's. Hello, hello, Alpha, so it was, uh, it was quite nice. 
Saki fly, so thanks Chris, not yeah, a problem. Uh, Empry uh, Lusson, I just met a pilot who flies out of City Airport and had a real good chat. They're good people. They are really, really good people. And a Romelli saying he's doing good today. So hopefully we had uh, all of them little problems ironed out and sorted. November, there's Alpha 1 2, you can continue Alpha I'm going to put my gloves on as well, guys, because I can uh, feel it getting a little bit cold up here. Roadhog. Okay, right, so bear with me two seconds, guys, just going to uh, put my gloves on. Lots of people up here filming. Sudan Adnan Mohammed, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Jeff Smith saying afternoon all. Afternoon to you, Jeff. As you can just see, uh, stop there. At least one of the engines are uh, currently shut down. Comrade Row, no, the uh, Amsterdam Airport. So, uh, Ibis Amsterdam Airport. Look at that lovely uh, row of towels there. Looking beautiful. Jack Glicks and uh, nature's air conditioning, it is my friend. It really is. Lovely view of the towels there. As I said to the mods, I, uh, I said it wasn't a, it's not going to plan. I said have faith, especially when we're in uh, new places abroad. Seven thirty-seven now taxiing up. I'm wondering though if that potentially that that Etihad Dreamliner it may be waiting for space. I'm wondering. So we are tuned into the ground, guys. The radio is uh, all of this going on here. So all of ground movements you're hearing all of that Jack Glick saying in me lorry headed back to Florida Carolina very warm here though very uh, very lovely in the sun other than that oh uh, there is a bit of cold wind blowing shall we say Jess Smith saying they let you out of London, Chris. They did, they did indeed. But the, uh, when I stood in a new place here, but we're all good, we keep going. If anyone does have any info, guys, on the, uh, the blue liner, the Etihad blue liner that is currently over there at the second, uh, just while it's sitting, this precise second that'll be brilliant so current time in uh, in the UK for uh, 1232 current local time here 1332 another beautiful KLM 787-10 Bravo Kilo Hotel this time over there just being uh, offloaded Looking stunning as ever. Pilot there having a cheeky, uh, cheeky chat out of the cockpit window to the ground staff, which is always good. Absolutely brilliant. Still waiting on the blue liner. 
Gary Paul saying afternoon Chris was on the Panorama deck in 2014 got a cracking view of KLM's last MD-11 Audrey Hepburn just before she was retired it's a sad day when uh, that aircraft was retired it's a great place here though I remember uh, years ago streaming from this exact place uh, like this this side here the, the amount of 747s that were here were just incredible it was so nice Alley Cat saying great view from here it is it's beautiful isn't it still waiting on that blue line I know so no idea sort of what's uh, what's going on with that at the second uh, Jeff Smith you are correct Gillian Sankey saying love the KLM livery looks so beautiful doesn't it actually we might get some uh, So on the move, it may be slowly on the uh, on the move. I just hope we can get a beautiful shot of this uh, Etihad Blue Line. It's been sitting there for quite a bit of time. So as I said, I don't know whether it's uh, currently waiting for uh, for a space. Let me know if you want me to move that. Uh, Alison Tung saying the Etihad is Alpha 6 Bravo November Delta and is three years old. Brilliant. It does look like it's slowly moving up. Looks like it's uh, starting engine number two again. That was shut down for a moment. Five, we are good to Chaos, go. how you doing? Yeah. Leslie M saying afternoon, Chris. Mods and all weather better there than Bedfordshire. It's looking all right here today. It's quite warm in the... Uh, in the sun but it is blowing it's quite cold when it's uh, on the on it's blowing uh, Keith Crafton saying greetings Chris mods all streams uh, nice to be at Shippo again it's nice to be this side with all of the heavies just for saying thanks guys no worries your latest message for 10 minutes now so another 10 minutes uh, Most probably, yes. All right. Actually, that Etihad might be waiting for this Turkish A330. So it looks like one of them have got a 10 minute delay. That is fully correct. Thank you. Ori Dushansky saying hello from Israel. How are you doing, Vicky Miller? Good morning, Chris. Sure do uh, deserve the sunshine uh, after the weather in London. Goodbye. Uh, you're the Kalinex, who's going to stop? Easy, Jensen. 1075. Excuse me. Oh. Excuse me. Who's. Right there. <laughs> Hang on, guys. This uh, these kid is. Obviously, someone's uh, kid has just jumped in front of us. Yeah, Leslie, I know. Job. there. Right, guys, let me move over a second. Hold on. Bless them no guys. Kids want to be close up to the aviation, so can you uh, can you blame them? Bless them. Five minutes and more. <laughs> oh there we go guys. Bless bless the little Enzo. Still uh, enjoying getting close to the uh, the aviation. 
Uh, free soil. As I said, it's a public place. It, it is a public place. You can't do. Uh, you can't do much. Thing is, I was more. To be honest, guys, it wasn't that. I was more worried about him falling over the side of the, over this. Like if he fell off the side there, that's just. That's quite a. Uh, even though there's something in front of us, you never know sort of. Uh, yeah. What could have happened? Hey, 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 uh, Dino saying half term on there as well. So, just waiting for some uh, some more movements at this second. Okay, I'm going to push pull. I think I'm going to push pull. Ronald Odepre. Good right? Obviously, though, if you do bring your, uh, your sort of kids up, guys, if they do sort of sit on that bit that's in front, obviously, there is a drop down there, so it's... You go any further over it as well. It's quite a far uh, drop down to the down to the tarmac below. Uh, Barry Price, thank you so much, mate. Honestly, I really appreciate that. Ah, oh, Gillian Sankey's great, isn't it? Uh, Nick Onk, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. So KLM seven thirty seven now, just being pushed back. So it looks like ah right. I think they're moving, no, sorry, it's the jet bridge. So I think the Etihad is actually waiting for the Turkish A330. So that is why that aircraft is currently delayed uh, sitting there on the tarmac. So we're gonna get the beautiful Etihad Blue Liner, the Manchester City, parking right next to the Emirates A380. And Richard Multara, was that the waving co-pilot? The co-pilot was waving. He must have been watching because we uh, we caught him out there. It's good to see the uh, the pilots like that. It's absolutely brilliant. So hello to uh, all the KLM pilots. Absolutely brilliant. So nice seeing. Great airmanship when uh, when pilots do that, guys. Uh, Freezoid. Well, as I said, at the end of the day, the kids are our future. The kids are our future pilots, our future doctors. You know, without the uh, without the respect given to the kids, they are our future generation. You have to nurture the kids' uh, instincts, especially for things like aviation, because they will be the ones that will be flying these aircraft in 30 years' time. I say though, if uh, if your kids are about, just keep an eye on them, especially when you're at an airport. That, that's the that's the main thing that you need to do. Official Glen Gaming saying the Emirates A380 looks awesome. Saw one uh, up close in uh, airport in Thailand. Brilliant stuff. Uh, Second Amendment, Jeffrey Voss. Uh, good morning to you. How are you doing? But welcome all for joining us, guys. South is nice. Uh, they really do, and it was so nice to get away from the pilots up there. It was. Uh, it's brilliant to see. Absolutely brilliant to see. So we're just waiting on the uh, the Turkish 330, which will be pushed. Then we've got this 7.3 that we've got the camera on at the moment, and then we should get a lovely shot of the Etihad uh, Blue Liner taxiing in. Keith Grafton, I thank you. And it's, once again, thank you to the uh, the pilots at KLM for giving the wave up. Absolutely brilliant. Eugene McGeever, hello to you. Stephen Owens, how are you all doing? Beautiful stuff. We might even get, uh, we've got Papa Hotel Bravo Hotel Foxtrot as well, which is a 787-8, the Flying Dutchman. It's over to the left. That looks like potentially it's uh, ready to go. No, Ian. You will always have to have a pilot, regardless of how good technology is. Was it end up like a Terminator? Uh, and Cassie, absolutely, yeah, of course. Uh, second Amendment, though, saying happy, uh, happy Wednesday, happy Wednesday indeed. So fingers crossed, we've uh, we moved around a bit up here, guys. Hopefully, we've got all of that uh, that little blip that we had earlier on 
sorted out. Barry Hannaford saying top of the morning, sir. Top of the morning to you. The views here are astonishing, though. I cannot believe that they put the A380 here, guys. That's the first time I've actually seen it uh, been put there. I didn't think that they uh, towed it to the stand, so we've been very, very lucky. Stephen Owens, fingers crossed. 300 likes as well, thank you so much guys. Welcome to uh, Amsterdam Schiphol. Sadnan Mohammed, uh, Tina Kerke saying, why are you waiting from Toronto? More Hef saying, what happened to the aircraft that was stuck on the apron yesterday? Uh, it moved. The aircraft flew back to, uh, to Heathrow without any incident. So everything was, uh, everything was good, as far as we are aware. Uh, Jack Smith Muller saying the 737 is heading to Madrid. Tell you what, I'm just going to put the uh, the radio back on here, on the camera. <laughs> no, Keith, my flight doesn't. O'clock local, so it's a, a late day for me. Very late day. So no, no Stancy stream today. Just uh, just here at Amsterdam or here at Schiphol. But that uh, Etihad blue liner has been on the ground for quite a long time now. Sitting there waiting for the gate. Uh, oh, Richard Montas and the Turkish A330 is an hour and a half late. No wonder the uh, the captain was asking, what, have we got another 10 minutes here? <laughs> Richard Mortara saying, EU uh, Papa Golf is rostered for the 2200 AMS flight today. Well, that's good. It's a shame it's not uh, Papa Julia. I would have loved to see the. Uh, I would have loved to have flown the retro jet, but unfortunately, she's uh, still not in service. Safira's mama, how are you doing? Uh, Haknan saying, uh, or Hakan saying, the Turkish. Uh, Alex Humphreys, yes, I did get to the model shop. Right, so there we go. The Turkish A330 is now being pushed, and that is exactly what the Etihad Dreamliner is waiting for. So, the Turkish 330. Uh, Philip Sawyer, I can't remember what time the viewing area is open to here at Amsterdam. Might be, might be six. Benny, how are you doing? Mods, all good. Stunning. Lovely views of the Turkish. And that is the Golden Horn. Creative Button, how are you doing? Safira's mama saying it's nearly 12 a.m. here. Waiting for, the uh, waiting for my meds to kick in. Well, I hope they do, and I hope you're okay. Darren Smith, how you doing? Big Edwards, 
saying uh, hit that like button thank you very much all oh, right so it was the Etihad the blue liner was waiting for that aircraft so we get a lovely shot of the special livery here they be 13 so I love the tug drivers no messing about agreed very very good at their job uh, Keith if that is correct that's uh, that's quite good well I, I thought that was through the summer Uh, Jody Mia, yes I did this morning, yes. Got a, uh, still got my coffee here with me at the moment. <laughs> Hakan, uh, one engine was off on the, uh, on the SEAD. Here's Stuart Aviation, and the truck drivers need to get a speeding ticket. They are just very efficient at their job. Bright and beautiful day in Amsterdam, it is, it's gorgeous here. Oh, how you say? Say you're doing a great job, Chris. Keep it up. Well, we will do. Creative Button, how are you doing? Oh, hang on, guys. Beautiful Royal Jordanian over there. That looks like. Very nice. Uh, it is Philip Sawyer. I think he shut down uh, engine number two on the Dreamliner. Uh, moving back round to the right, the Turkish still with the tug attached. Care, care. No, I didn't. Uh, I didn't do anything yesterday. I just had a meal at the hotel, and uh, and then I went to sleep very early. Uh, Jack Mueller, that's uh, the Etihad is currently waiting for the the space next to the Emirates. Jeff Smith, thank you very much. We get it sorted in the end. Just keep powering through. That Royal Jordanian looking absolutely stunning though. Beautiful, beautiful as ever. Yeah, Richard Mortar, I thought that would have been the case. So it is five o'clock that it shuts here. And we're currently at 13.52. I think it's open until later during the uh, the summer or during the summer period. Creative M, how are you doing? Hope you're doing brilliantly. So the Etihad is just sitting there once again. The Turkish is uh, just sitting there. Maybe the Turkish is waiting for, well, it's gotta be waiting for the Etihad. Jake Muxon saying afternoon from Crawley. Afternoon to you, hope you're doing well. Susanna Bet uh, Bentley, how are you doing? John Hayes saying the Etihad, the, uh, the Manchester City livery. Loving the uh, the sound here, beautiful noise. So I'm going to keep my eyes on the uh, on the SEA just at the moment. Uh, Daniel, I have no idea. It might be that they're just waiting for uh, 
They might be sorting out a few things at the gate. Who knows? There's obviously a reason for uh, for the wait in there. Chrissy74 saying afternoon, Chris. Afternoon to you. Afternoon to everyone on Facebook as well. Hope you're uh, keeping lovely. Stephen Owen saying I love the wing angle. It's currently an Egypt Air 737 as well behind that on the uh, on the taxiway here. So it looks like uh, whatever's happening is causing a little bit of a little bit of a delay. If that Turkish Airlines aircraft looks like it's already been delayed about an hour and a half, I bet they're uh, loving sitting on the ground. Matt Cat Lady, how you doing, A Bomb? How are you doing, in Stuart? Uh, Bruce saying, "Izzy, Izzy, let's get busy. I'm trying to make them cow disappear." <laughs> and no, unfortunately, not off to the polder barn today. Uh, I have no transport to get there, and trying to get a cab is uh, a bit of a nightmare. So. Uh, I'm here focusing on all of the heavy uh, ground movements at the moment. Uh, more hef, yes, there it does. For some unknown reason, and he's on his way now though, beautiful stuff. Bruce, thank you very much though. Uh, South Ice saying uh, hello and good morning from Connecticut. Good morning to you, hope you're doing absolutely fantastic. That is a beautiful, beautiful livery. A lovely, lovely view of that amazing, amazing aircraft. Oh. David Pretty, how are you doing? Uh, Mehdi Sam watching from Algeria, hello to you. Benny was giving the uh, the thumbs down for the, uh, for Manchester City there. <laughs> Charles saying the 787 is pretty much stunning. It is. It's beautiful. <laughs> so it's Manchester City though. Be lovely when we're able to see this uh, this KLM A330 that's in front of us move. And if anyone has any info, guys, on the aircraft in front of us, which is Papa Hotel Alpha Kilo Bravo, that would be uh, amazing to see when she is actually scheduled for departure. Robbie Batista, how are you doing? Uh, chronic sleep deprivation, yes, it does. Nice to see. <laughs> Beautiful stuff, that. Such a different uh, set of aircraft. Oh, actually, I have now. Oh, you probably can't see there. I've shut the uh, the rear cargo doors on the A330 that is in front of me. So hopefully we'll get a lovely shot of that pushing back. Fingers crossed. Beautiful. Different set of towels though there. Years ago this was just full of KLM 747s galore here. It was uh, it was a sight that's very much missed, put it that way. We have a look as well over to the right hand side, potentially they're coming up to uh, finishing the end of boarding that 787-10 over there as well.
APU is running in front of me though on this uh, A330 300. Beautiful. Right, so let's get back to where we was. Uh, Craig is saying, let's have a look at that, Craig. Craig, you're a legend, mate, so that's heading out very soon as well. Craig Howe, thank you very much, mate. Hope you're doing well. Uh, due out local, right, so Ian Finley, hopefully. Ah, oh, yes, it is. Right, we've got a lovely shot of this. So this aircraft is going to be the next one out right in front of us here. No wonder the APU was running. Jet bridge has currently just been removed. Ian Clarkson, how you doing? We're competing, yeah. Brian Hannaford saying... Uh, uh, Barry, no, unfortunately, uh, unfortunately I haven't. And as I said, uh, I'm trialling, obviously the overseas shows, I'm trialling out all the new equipment in places that are quite close to home at this second. Just making sure everything works. Philip Sawyer saying bring on the A350 any day. Alex Heath saying afternoon, Chris. Afternoon to you. Hope you're doing well. Uh, Lorraine saying uh, Chris Airline is live. We're enjoying the show. Ah, brilliant stuff. And there we go, the push as well. So let's. Uh, change to the round here so as you can see there is uh, I'm quite close to the gate and even the uh, the pilots there so we're gonna just wait until we've seen that Wow so let's get close to this beauty Absolutely amazing. Look at that. Thank you. Look at that, guys. And the A330 is off to Lagos. Or oh, Lagos. No W. Tim Duggan, afternoon, Chris. Pictures look great on the TV. Thank you very much, mate. Hope you're doing well. Look at that. L saying what a shot to tune into. Absolutely beautiful. Ah, uh, Keith. As I say, that the um, the Queen's building used to be like this, didn't it? You know, I, I really do think though that uh, a lot of the UK airports are missing out on things like this. They really are. The amount of extra uh, revenue it could bring to airports having things like this overlooking uh, stuff, wow. And it does, so uh, KLM. Ray C saying afternoon all. Well, hopefully. I guess saying now watching on the TV as well as typing. Ali Cat saying a big smile there. Massive smile from the A330. Chronic sleep, yes they do. KLM ground ops. CSB, afternoon to you Chris, hope you're doing well. Might be it's at lunchtime. Enjoy the lunch, my friend. Mm -hmm. 
Steve Topple saying awesome view. It's amazing being so close. Just incredible. Uh, CSB, Chris, I'm doing very well, mate. Daniel uh, Jaeger asking if that is an, a uh, an A350. No, this is uh, an Airbus A330. A330-300. Alan Campion saying, I love the coordinated pushback tractor. Looks gorgeous, doesn't it? Uh, Ian Finley saying, uh, local time, EK A380 is due out at 1500. 30 minute delay. That's not a problem at all. We're pretty used to uh, delays happening, aren't we? With uh, the Emirates aircraft. Frenchy TJ saying, really enjoying Chris. Thank you, not a problem at all, my pleasure. As I said, we had a few little uh, blips this morning with uh, with the internet, but we get there in the end. And it'll be lovely once again to see the, uh, the A380 being pushed from this perspective. Beat Jake saying afternoon, Chris and all fantastic views. Can you believe we're in March already? No, I can't. Funny you say that. It is March. Wow. John H. saying the Airbus A330 is uh, 11 years old. Wayne saying we've got a Sun Express 737 uh, special livery and pushback as well. I was hoping we could get to see some more departures. Here, but I'm happy with the uh, the ground ops. Ooh. KLM triple now being pushed. Papa Hotel, bravo, Victor, Victor. This time over there in the background, of 400 likes. Thank you so so much, guys. Much much appreciated. Ah, oh, Steve, there is. Uh, There is a lot to be learned. Very much a lot to be learned. Ah, and it looks like the departures may have restarted once again. How about with the Embraer this time? Looking lovely. Sounds as well now of the A330 getting ready to taxi. Beautiful. Absolutely amazing. And welcome along to Amsterdam Schiphol Airport Live, guys. Special shows Tuesday and Wednesday here for us this week. And I hope you're all enjoying. Oh, very nice. And that Turkish that we saw being pushed back, guys, out for departure already. Ground ops and departures, what else could you want, guys? Just incredible. Beautiful. Okay, then triple over the back there as well. James Quidlin, how you doing, CSB? Saying you uh, should do Vienna Airport. As I said, mate, we're going to uh, going to take our time with things. Not going to uh, not going to rush. Uh, 
Beautiful. Absolutely amazing, guys. Oh wow, looking at a different view of the KLM triple. Absolutely amazing, look at that. And Wayne, I do believe that that was the Sun Express. Very nice. <laughs> it's nice being able to see the departures. And thank you so much for everyone that's uh, just uh, tuning in now, guys. I will get around to them comments. It was, uh, it was showing no service <laughs> on my phone. So I wasn't the only one. It was my uh, my phone having the same bits of problems there. Heasley, how are you doing? Dave Udon, Mark Garner, Stephanie Hutchinson, hope you're doing well. Yeah, France out for departure. Exceptional. So I wonder what that 7-3 is holding there. Uh, Stephanie Hutchinson, thank you so, so much for that. Uh, Dave Udon saying, uh, is the hotel good? Uh, yeah, the hotel was lovely. It was nice having a lay-in. I, uh, I was exhausted yesterday, as I'm sure you could probably imagine. It was great. Absolutely great. Morning, Clive. How are you doing, Alison Tunks? Uh, Alison Tunks, I would say uh, turn it to 1080p. YouTube put it in a standard setting of like um, two six. I think it was in 260p. Mine was. Uh, so yeah, you have to just change up your settings in YouTube. Alan Holgate, saying magical afternoon. Thank you. KW Airlines, how is it going? It's going very, very well. Yeah, CSB, Chris. I can only imagine, my friend. Bruce, thank you so much for that. Honestly, I really, really appreciate that, mate. Ian Finley saying uh, the Sun Express 737, so they are departing on zero nines here today. Very nice. He's the unfortunately no stands to stream today. Uh, we are here in the Netherlands. I can hear 
something else heading out for departure over there yes i can where is it and the a330 I believe that was the A330 that we'd uh, caught being pushed back from stand. And the aircraft is heading out to Lagos. Beautiful guys. Very, very nice. Uh, Air France was off. Jamie W saying, I uh, love seeing airlines that don't fly uh, into America. It's, uh, it's a nice treat, isn't it, guys? Ian Clarkson saying, Chris, some banging shots from here today. Great video and audio cl crystal clear. Thank you very much, my friend. I said I had to uh, go for a few little changes of place here this morning, shall we say, to get the, uh, the internet running perfectly. Uh, KW Airlines. Uh, I'm sure I answered that one to you a couple of days ago, my friend. Uh, I've got a charger, uh, sorry, a, uh, an airband receiver. Uh, Tariq, how you doing? John H down the A330 was uh, take off to Lagos. It was. Looks like a 2E 787 now being pushed back. And that is Oscar Oscar Juliet Delta Lima. Peter Kuzinowski saying a great position, Chris. Thank you very much. I had to bring, uh, while we was here in Amsterdam, I had to bring this side to you guys because this is where all the heavy aircraft are. And it is amazing being here. Laura Coyle, how are you doing? Alison Tunks. Ah, brilliant. <laughs> yeah, also a perfect day for this. Looking gorgeous, isn't it? Uh, Heasley saying, so crystal clear. Did you change your equipment? Uh, yes, this is all part of the, uh, the new equipment. This is why it is so crystal clear and perfect. Obviously, I'm still getting used to it, though. Uh, just how it works and... The best settings to use especially when we're abroad this is the first time i've used the, the new equipment abroad andy williams and the belgian tui it is we got a lovely shot of the uh, the tui yesterday uh, nick knight saying watching with my son today as his teachers on strike nice and educational i'm glad we can help my friend Hope it lights that uh, that fire of inspiration. Lee Dickerson, say uh, afternoon everyone, how are you doing? Richard Waring, say an excellent day for it, thanks for the great channel. Thank you very much for tuning in Richard, really appreciate it. So they pushed that. I was wondering if that potentially was what that 737 was waiting for. So coffee time, I think. Nice chilled out afternoon. And current local time check here, 1418. So we are an hour ahead of UK time. Tell you what, guys, I'm just going to move my. Uh, I'm just going to move my bag forward a little bit. Beautiful here. Keith Grafton, thank you very much for hitting the like button. Really appreciate it. Be lovely to see that uh, A380 push back from here. That'd be another extraordinary view. Alexa, how are you doing? Nick Knox and uh, gutted, uh, got to leave shift start soon, but fantastic show, thank you very much. Joseph Danvers saying hello everyone, but Nick, uh, hope you have a great day at work. Craig Russell saying morning everyone, morning Craig, hope you're doing well. 
or afternoon. Well, the two just been pushed. They had the Delta 350s around here uh, yesterday. ERB saying uh, happy Wednesday, Chris and everyone. Happy Wednesday indeed, my friend. Roadhog saying yes, everything's worked, so let's move. <laughs> All of his flight control surfaces check. Looks like they're still boarding uh, the 787-10. KLM over to my right hand side. Mark Garner saying the Bahrain weekend uh, for F1. Cannot wait. A lot of people looking forward to uh, F1. Saying the Finnair One World livery going above us, uh, going above Amsterdam, on its way to Orlando. Uh, Wayne is saying we've got the Gemin uh, 787. When is that here, Wayne? Is that anytime soon? Uh, Alice Humphreys, yes. If, if, is that 1500 local time? Because that is, what's that? 39 minutes away. EasyJet heading outbound now. So the 09 departures over there. Mixtures today. Yeah, it's a shame we haven't seen any uh, Delta aircraft in here. Or any Delta 350s. It was low here yesterday. Roy saying enjoying the stream of his local airport. Uh, Joseph Danvers saying 13.22 England, uh, English time. Uh, Wayne, is that due out or is that due in? Barry Hannaford, thank you so much for that. Honestly, I really, really appreciate that. Thank you very, very much. Oh, 737 Sky Team livery now taxiing in here. Aviation Geek saying, hey, how are you, my friend? Hope you're doing very, very well. Let me have a look around to the right. Oliver Evans, well, I hope you have a uh, safe flight.
Aviation geek saying good morning from the US of A. How are you doing? Beautiful Sky Team livery right there. Epic machine guys, I'll get you the, uh, the registration on that as well. Papa Hotel Bravo X-Ray Oscar. Amazing. Just getting ready to operate the uh, the jet bridge. ERB, how are you doing? Chronic sleep, uh, Blair's Aviation Channel, hello to you. Hope you're doing well. Eight likes away from 500, thank you very much. Just trying to uh, plug their headphones in to, uh, to speak to the cockpit there. John H, 497. Beautiful. That 7.37 is still sitting over there. 500 likes, thank you very much. Hope you're doing well, guys. Chronic sleep, say Chris, just so you know. Chronic, oh, chronic sheep. Ah, right. Sorry, I just. We moet er geld in doen. Daniel Jaeger saying, uh, nice work, Chris. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's lovely being able to broadcast this uh, to the world and have it open to everyone. Keith Grafton saying there's uh, a Kenya Airways about six minutes out. Fantastic. So hopefully about 33 minutes now for the Emirates A380 to, uh, to turn up. You probably see the uh, top sky bridge as well. I think I can hear another. Uh, can hear something. And no, that was a Transavia heading out. It's lovely being able to see the departures today, guys, as well. Really is. Uh, Pair Averhoff, thank you so much for that, Pair. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Uh, Heasley, no, I don't. I, uh, do you know what? I've, I, I never listed the uh, the stuff on like um, affiliates or anything. I, ne I never listed it. Larry Brown saying good morning from Pennsylvania. Fine way to start my day. Many thanks, Chris. Not a problem at all. Hope you're doing well. So they're now pushing another 7:37 over the background there. Steve Ario, thank you so much for that. Dylan saying afternoon, folks. Hope you're doing well. Uh, shark seat? Nope. I think, I believe it's half term here, yeah, but uh, as I say, this is uh, a view in Panorama Terrace open to everyone, so everyone is welcome, including the kids. Steve Ario, how are you doing? Hear a Delta aircraft as well somewhere. I believe it might be on the uh, on the other hand or on the other side. Photo for you saying afternoon. Good show. Lots uh, lots of starts at the Polder Barn. Looks like there's uh, lots of things going on. The only reason I couldn't get to the Polder Barn is I couldn't, couldn't seem to get um, a cab to and from that place. But the next time we do head over to Amsterdam, I will head over to there. I'll try and hire a car, or maybe even drive this time. 
Uh, Jacques Mueller saying we'd love to see the atmosphere on that uh, Egypt Air 7 3. We've been quite lucky today, actually. We had the uh, Royal, Jordan, uh, Royal Jordanian 320 here. That was just a beautiful way. John O'Roscombe saying, hey man, welcome back to uh, AMS. I live only seven kilometers away from the airport and right under the southern SIDS. Uh, all from 09, I can spot these planes from my balcony off from the balcony. Do you know what, Jono? It's an amazing place and I'm very humbled to, uh, to be here. The views are just amazing. Such a lovely, lovely place to be. Andrew McCorrigan looks a bit more active today. Reason why is because we're here. This is sort of where all the heavies um, are and, and where they're uh, sort of pushed back from. So it's nice. So it's, uh, it gives you that bit more of a a vibe so when you are here on the panorama terrace you get two views the one that we had yesterday and obviously this beautiful view here we've been very lucky today because we have the a380 on stand and the uh, the blue livery manchester city 78 andy williams saying the delta 359 is pinging on the other side of the pier i thought it was the other side we're currently listening to ground operations here on the uh, on the radio so you get to hear all of this what is going on the Turkish Airlines as well. The 321 in front of us is just currently uh, beacon has started, so that should be pushing back very, very soon. Very nice. Cassie San Fly Peaks, love that. Uh, Chronic Sheep San uh, my local airport does have a diner where you can watch small aircraft uh, take off. The thing is, all of the European airports, they have these places here, and it's just amazing to see. Carol East, a lovely place, lovely day. Gorgeous day, isn't it? Beautiful Embraer once again. Actually, that might be. Is that an E2 that was uh, departing there? Air France with their Embraer. Air France hop. Beautiful. Loving the ground movements. JW saying Japan is the best uh, place in the world for viewing uh, viewing platforms. Hopefully, in the not too distant future, maybe the next year or so, maybe two years, maybe able to head over there. Cassie. <laughs> Millie saying afternoon from Cape Town. Uh, wow, weather looks nice in Amsterdam. It's glorious here. The sun is very warm, but there is uh, a very cold breeze. And Ian McNeil saying that was the E2, and that's off to split. Carl saying there's a bit of an overload going on. <laughs> He's got it at the minute. Got everything running. Very, very busy on the ground there. You can hear what the uh, the controllers on the ground are actually dealing with. So nice. JW Sam watching from Hong Kong. How are you doing? Beacon still flashing on the uh, the Turkish 321 in front of us. Just got to wait now for the pushback. Cafe Spotter saying hello, SDTV. How are you doing, Cafe Spotter? Andy Williams. Ooh. Another KLM heavy being pushed back. This time, Papa Hotel Bravo Hotel Lima 787-8. Uh, oh, hang on. What's that? 787-9 this time. Oh, is that an eight? Hang on, guys. I might have been. Uh... Two eight. <laughs> Ian Finley saying so we've got the uh, the KLM pinging in front, which is this aircraft. Right, so the Turkish has just been given his uh, push and start clearance. Uh, 
Cafe Spotter, thank you very much. Beautiful. And the, Delta, uh, the Turkish 321 now being, uh, being pushed. Jono saying the, uh, the 787 9 is off to Mexico. the Air France hop. Lots and lots of movements here. Very nice. Uh, saying hello from Japan, how are you doing? Hello to Japan. So it looks like another 24 minutes, guys, until they're uh, going to be pushing the Emirates 380, which is uh, on stand to the left of us. What? KLM 737. Very, very peaceful. Saying San Arigato. Donna Green saying good morning from New Orleans. Would love to uh, have your weather today. We're expecting, we are expecting possible tornadoes. Well, I hope you're uh, you're keeping safe. A uh, photo for you saying the A380 might, uh, may possibly leave from 09. That would be uh, brilliant if it does. We'll get the uh, the full pushback, taxi, and the departure. Definitely a lot busier today, though, guys. Definitely does feel it. Another Star Alliance over there as well. Lufthansa. Star Alliance 320 this time. Uh, Alan Campion with the 787 Animation amazing stream. Thanks for all you do and pick yourself up some uh, stroop waffles for the trip back. I will do, my friend. Alan, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate that, my friend. Mark uh, Crabtree, how are you doing? Hope you're doing very, very well. We have been treated today. Someone's definitely smiling. Uh, above me with the A380 being in front of us. Alan, though, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate that. <laughs> Lots of departures. Seems like 09 has, uh, one minute it's very busy and there's aircraft constantly, then it has a break. And then once again, it's uh, sort of fully operational. John H saying the lifty. It was indeed. So it looks like these both might be going off of runway 09. Uh, Ian Finley saying, uh, Chris, EK is now 1520 local, typical, so that's about 41 minutes now, so there is a delay on the Emirates. Uh, Marley F22, my pleasure, while well, you're here today, and we are, as I said, we're on the different side of the viewing terrace this afternoon. 
Oh, wow. Oh, uh, wow. I believe that, is that the Coast Guard, maybe? Yes, it is. So I believe the Dutch Coast Guard, fantastic, very, very nice. <laughs> David Snoy saying uh, good afternoon, my friend will be on that Emirates A380. Uh, we'll be catching it uh, departing. So it looks like both of these aircraft that are heading out now, the Turkish and the KLM 78, should be departing 09. Uh, Colette Cole saying, are we back to live on Friday? Yes, we are. Obviously, by the time I get home this evening, it will be into the early, well, it will be sort of early hours of uh, Thursday morning. Um, I just won't, by the time I probably fall asleep, I just won't be able to get up again at like half past five six o'clock in the morning to head to Gatwick so we'll be back again on Friday which I'm sure you can understand uh, John O'Shane zero nine is secondary takeoff runway when the landing peak is active runway is six 36 R is active and a 36 left it's the only takeoff runway this is brilliant I love uh, love hearing these uh, insights Beautiful. So many places to look. Roadhog saying yes, it was the Coast Guard. Fantastic. Uh, but Sloss saying it was Canadian registration on the uh, on the Coast Guard. Wow. If anyone's got any more uh, info on that, then guys, where it's uh, what it's doing, where it's going. Points Traveller, uh, Points Traveller saying great shots in Amsterdam. Good morning from Nashville. How are you doing? A very good morning to you. Very busy. Yeah, I'll do some. Uh, I'll do some digging into that. Uh, into that. Coast Guard guys. So it looks like the the Andalusia is now beacon is running currently. Venice and the Coast Guard circle back. I can't. See. Oh, actually, looks like it landed on uh, one of the other runways. The Coast Guard landed uh, over there by where the Virgin Australia was yesterday in the 7-4. Uh, and the Lujet is now being pushed back, so operating on behalf of Turkish Airlines. Uh, John O'Roscombe, brilliant. That would be nice. I can see that's uh, the Kenya Airways as well. Looks like that's going to be taxiing around. Be lovely if that uh, turns up around here. And Dave saying the Coast Guard is landing on runway 04. That was over there. Trone Hunter, how are you doing? And the Star Alliance 320 just departing. Don't even know where to look, guys. Honestly, so much stuff going on here. Uh, Trone Hunter saying the ATC is amazing now. And we are, uh, as I said, we are tuned into ground. 
So it's all of this uh, operation that you see here. Andy Williams saying, wow, that Dash 8 is, uh, or the Dash is about 36 years old. with the Kenya Airways guys. Michelle Johnson saying, wow, love the Star Alliance. Once again, very lucky here. Benny, thank you so much for, uh, for posting that up. Tariq, Harry. Anything around us? Alan Barr saying, uh, well, it beats a Wednesday at Stansted. Great stream. Just a little bit different, eh? <laughs> uh, saying, I want back to Kenya. Brilliant. Uh, Wayne is saying, we've got an Emirates cargo, 777, that's rolling as well. Beautiful Kenya Airways. Alicat saying, uh, must be shattered now. Feed up, relax. Enjoy. Enjoy it, guys. Now, Fox is saying, we've got the Emirates Sky Cargo. I would love to see that off of 09, guys, but uh, we shall see. We'll see what happens. Beautiful Andalou jet. Andy Williams saying the Coast Guard aircraft are based at AMS, Chris. That is good. It's nice knowing just uh, or having a little bit of info. Do you know what? Really, uh, it's really nice, guys. There are quite a few people here with with tripods. There are people with just cameras, and people are just taking video. And it, it's just such a nice, relaxed, chilled place to be. Abbasloff saying, uh, according to plane spotters, uh, Golf Echo is due to change registration to go uh, PH, right? And it's Dutch Coast Guard, right? Okay. Trade Hunter saying, Chris Lars always make me chill. There's something nice about a, a bit of chilling. And I'm glad you're all enjoying it, guys. And once again, if you are liking what you're seeing, please do hit the like button for us, guys. It just helps us to, uh, to once again, continue to grow the channel. Lovely chilled out afternoon in Amsterdam, Schiphol. Fred Van Els, how are you doing? I was going to turn around to the uh, to the right for the KLM. A little bit of a smoke on the engine start there. Skip saying afternoon. Oh, looks sunny, but it's uh, sh uh, looks sunny, but sure it's chilly there. It is quite chilly here. But uh, once the sun is on top of us, it's uh, very very warm. So obviously though we are on top of a roof so we're, we do feel the cold all that uh, ever more quicker. They've got a very quick taxi as well up to 09. Skipper how are you doing Leslie? I'm saying so normally sat in a team meeting right about now but this is 100% a way better way to spend the afternoon. Well I'm glad you're enjoying Clive. Honestly, thank you so much, Clive. I really, really appreciate that, mate. And I hope you and Marion are keeping well. Absolutely amazing. Hope you're doing good, mate.
Uh, Ian Finley saying Chris the EK777 is heading for 09. Perfect, this is good for us guys. 600 likes, thank you very much. John H is saying the Geminair is uh, close to AMS. Once again, guys, that would be lovely because we've got quite a few uh, different carriers here. Be lovely if we could see uh, that turn up on this side and get some lovely shots. Beautiful. RC Aero and Tech, how are you doing? Uh, Michael Walker, of course. I'm, I'm always thinking of uh, things to plan, my friend. It all just depends on uh, sort of how we how we do in that. I just, as I said, I'm not I'm not trying to rush things with this. The reason that I the reason that I come to Amsterdam over the past two days was because it was very very cheap with British Airways, and it just made the uh, it made a change, you know. But yes, always the way. Always got something uh, that we'd like to plan for the future. Uh, ERB, this is obviously the biggest. I don't know how. I don't know much about Rotterdam Airport. I don't. I don't know much uh, about it, so I can't uh, give you a a precise sort of okay or yay or nay on that if that makes sense you know mayhem marsh is saying hi hello, uh, everyone is on good form i am on very good form my friend and i hope you are too mm -hmm. 737 was that a 700 this time here rc area saying uh, i'm good thanks chris well that's always good to hear my friend glad you are Yolande Postemus and uh, welcome back in Holland. Uh, Schiphol is my former hometown. You spare flight attendant for KLM. So glad you bring back uh, the memories with your views. Well, thank you so much. I bet you've got some great stories with your time at KLM. So the 73 will be going right in front of us. though we lose it just behind uh, Beautiful. So we lost the KLM 73 just behind the uh, the bit of fencing that we've got there. You can hear the incredible, incredible sounds. Wow, guys, getting truly spoiled here. Stunning, stunning stuff. Very, very nice indeed.
beautiful guys that sound yeah Andy Williams did you see that there was uh, there was a bit of foreign object uh, a bit of debris around there I think they'll be on that but the thing is it might be uh, from something up here there is a bit of rubbish up here which is unfortunate Ken Walker saying afternoon Chris just got home from work how are you doing Wayne saying we've got the 700 City Flyer just taxiing in. Hopefully we get her departure. And Ian Finley saying we've got the Gemini 787 2 out to land. Once again, I hope, I hope, if you see all the different world towers here, it would be lovely if we could get that Gemini Airlines uh, here, parking right next to the, uh, the Etihad. <sighs> Brilliant stuff though. So nice, we've got to see the, uh, the Emirates triple. They're passing on 09. Sounds like they just shut down the APU in front of us as well. Matt Cat Lady saying, great show, Chris. Really enjoying this. I'm glad you are. And welcome to the lovely, lovely views. Brings back uh, lots of memories, guys. asking how Chris how long are you streaming this nice channel do you have an anniversary uh, well when was it the 18th of February which was a Saturday ago a couple of Saturdays ago was actually uh, the first official year on uh, on YouTube but the channel in sort of Facebook form has been going for a lot lot longer than that so uh, yeah if, uh, if you want to be sort of technical the 18th of February um, 2022 was when things really started to go uh, our way for the channel, if that makes sense. John O'Roscom saying runway 36 R is now active for landing. Thank you, mate. Uh, Jamie W, I believe it's uh, Spain. I think they do a lot of stuff uh, to Barcelona and Madrid, if I'm not mistaken. Wayne is saying we've got a Silkway 747 due for departure at 15.50 local time. Once again, that would be lovely if we could, uh, if we could be seeing that. Jack Glick, how you doing? Roadhog, yeah, I thought it was. Spanish company. The ground handlers are so, so busy here. So it looks like they have turned around or nearly finished loading the Sky Team up, guys. Very nice. Uh, APH is fine, saying afternoon, Chris. Hope you're well. I'm doing very well, my friend. Hope you are too. Just going to put my hood up because I can. Uh, I can feel it getting a little bit cold now. Jamie W, no worries. Oh no, they still are. Oh, that was my eyes playing tricks. It looked like they'd. Uh, Yeah. 
Yeah, I've been saying great work, Chris. Uh, number of subscribers growing and growing because you're excellent work. Well, thank you so much, my friend. As I said, it's, it's not down to me. I'm just the bloke behind the camera. It's you lovely lot that, that tune in through thick and thin that uh, are the real stars of the show. And the hand of Luce. The powers of YouTube, though, guys, and the powers of live streaming is uh, amazing. We're able to broadcast this all over the world. Uh, Daniel, it's not yet. Sorry, that was my uh, thing. They've got a couple more. Uh, they just pulled over a couple more baggage. A couple more bits of baggage. So I'm just going to uh, chill at the moment. Uh, Briggs Tony saying afternoon. I'm new to this channel and looks good. Well, thank you very much, Tony. Hope you're doing well. Thank you very much. Anyone just joining us from all around the world, welcome to uh, Amsterdam Schiphol. Well, Wayne, that would be, as I said, that would be lovely if we could see them depart off 09. So, fingers crossed, be lovely if we could. Uh, Get some taxi past us as well, that'd be nice. Ken Walker, well I'm glad. Brian Young saying good morning Chris, San Francisco. It's six o'clock in the morning, very good morning to you. Uh, Briggs Tony saying my son landed there last night from Bristol and I hope he had a great flight. Stephen Owens, how are you doing? Uh, Richard Waltas and the Sky Team 7-3 will go to Bergen but with a 30 minute delay scheduled to go to Geneva and Madrid tomorrow. Very nice. And if anyone has any info, guys, on Bravo, uh, sorry, Bravo Hotel Foxtrot, that would be uh, very much appreciated. It uh, looks like that's been uh, ready to go for some time now. Always oh, saying they were big street waffle container. I'm definitely going to have one in the airport. Uh, David Blaude six runways at Amsterdam Schiphol. So six. Oh, very nice. So that was what you was looking for, guys, the Jimenez. Actually, I have seen this aircraft here a few years back, and it was parked up over here. <laughs> Dana Burma, I'm back with you from uh, Tryon, North Carolina. How are you doing? John O'Roscombe, not a problem. Uh, APH, uh, only until this evening. My flight is uh, 10 p.m. local time, so that's 9 p.m. English time. Oliver Hans saying greetings from German guy living in northeastern Thailand. How are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Infinite. Oh, that's quite a long time then. Right, so we're going to get probably a lovely shot of the uh, gym in there. And that might go next to the, uh, the Yeti head. John H said never seen this uh, airline before. <laughs> Skipper saying it's uh, showing 5:25 p.m. departure to Minneapolis. Quite a long time. Thank you, though, guys, in the comments. Well, Benji will love this. He loves discovering new airlines, Cass. Well, there you go. Nice. So, oh, okay, he's going to the right hand side of the Emirates then. Howdy doody, how are you doing? Uh, 
Thank you, Wayne. Thank you, Mods. Ian Finley saying, Chris, EKA380 is now going out of 1553 local, so there is some big delays on that uh, that Emirates A380 here. Live W saying, afternoon, Chris, Mods, and everyone. Hope you're well. I'm doing very well, my friend, and I hope you are too. So there you go. That is your first time uh, seeing it, guys. Yemen Air. ERB. <coughs> it's definitely a shame about the uh, the Emirates being so delayed. Javiation San. Are they still the crush barriers where you are? Uh, yes, they're in like. Uh, yeah, they've got a bit here, but there are spaces where you can sort of like st step in between, which is quite nice. But there's still loads and loads of space up here. Lots and lots of space, actually. For everyone to see, but they have got them, uh, them barrier bits there. But it is lovely, though. Let's and uh, take my wife to Athens, Greece for a birthday and Delta vacations. Flying 350-900 direct uh, from Atlanta. Brilliant stuff. <laughs> Skipper. <laughs> a lot of people not happy with the, uh, the Manchester City Dreamliner. Sharon Cuxton, how are you doing? Dark Side Bob, afternoon guys. So they're still loading up the uh, the Sky Team 7-3 in front of us. Got a nice little peaked out break at the second, which is quite nice to see. So I'll keep your eyes on some ground movements just at the second. So Wayne is saying we could be getting three 747s uh, and a 380 between 1530 and 1600. Well, I would love to see that, but fingers crossed, Wayne. And that's all we can do. Thank you. Don Atwood, uh, I am in Amsterdam at this uh, precise moment. And no, unfortunately, we won't be at Gatwick tomorrow, guys, because by, as I said, the time I get back tonight on my flight, I just will not, ha I will need some sleep, and uh, I just won't, I won't be able to wake up at half past five in the morning, uh, and then get on the road to, uh, to head to LGW, guys, so it's just, I'm sure you can understand. John I saying uh, the Sky Team's heading off to Bergen whenever it's uh, ready to depart, so it'd be nice to see that being pushed back. Looks like we've got a Transavia taxiing around here as well, somewhere if I can see that. Yes, it was, just over there in the background. Skipper, yes, I did hear that. And I did see that, Excel, uh, yeah, they went under, didn't they? <laughs> Love being this close to the, uh, the ground ops, guys. It's almost like London City all over again. <coughs> Oh, Ian Finley, right, okay, that, that would probably be, uh, yeah, we won't head over to uh, to Rotterdam then. Uh, Tim Hall saying, enjoying the stream, thanks Chris, and I thank you so much for uh, for tuning in, my friend. Nice Wednesday afternoon for you all. Andy, no, I, no I, I'm not. I'm not that committed, am I? No. <laughs> no, 
Oh, I do need the uh, somewhat of a, a sleep. Uh, Debbie 13, no worries, glad you've enjoyed. Right, so they've already closed up the door one over there on the right hand side, so hopefully they're getting ready to hopefully push that out. And that's Kilo Hotel 787-10. So keep our eyes on the uh, the ground movements just at the moment while we're waiting on a few more aircraft. Joe Robinson, afternoon to you. Oh, actually, it looks like they're getting ready to potentially push that. They've already got the, uh, the tug getting ready to go. Very, very efficient with the, uh, the KLM handlers there. And John, I say 17, 15 local time, typical. Joe Vino saying this is so nice. Oh, this is nice. So many liveries and carriers you don't see in the states. And this is why we uh, we love these airports. And this is why we go to all of these different airports that we can and stream them, guys. It's just because of you don't get to see much like this. Uh, Barry Hannaford, unfortunately, not no. Well, I don't believe there are, put it that way. Skipper sounds so close, you can literally see that pilot have any sandwiches, literally. <laughs> It'd be nice seeing this be pushed back, guys. So it looks like they've loaded everything. Jet bridge is now removed, as you can probably see. So this looks like uh, this will be the next aircraft uh, being pushed back. Flor uh, Florian uh, saying this livery is awesome. It's gorgeous, isn't it? It really is nice. Uh, Simon Dickinson saying we've got the TAP Cargo A330 in shortly. Unfortunately, that heads over to the right-hand side of where we are. Uh, so it doesn't look like it's going to be... Uh, anywhere near here. Uh, Lee Harris saying, hi Chris, brilliant stream, thank you. Any other European airports you'd love to stream from this year? Uh, Lee, there are many, as I say, but um, I'm just taking my time. I'm saving the pennies and just sort of trying to get some things going forward. I do have plans in my head, it's all in my head. Uh, of where I'd like to go and what I'd like to see and there are uh, quite a few other few places that um, I want to head to but um, I'm not yet I'm not committed and not booked anything currently at this uh, precise second Amsterdam was pretty much on a on a whim because it was cheap John O'Sani Air Start Unit connected brilliant and Preston saying good morning, Chris and the mods. Uh, everyone taking in the view before I have to head out. Have a great day. I will do, my friend. Hope you do. Uh, hope you're doing well. John O'Roskam, brilliant. Paul Reynolds saying currently uh, in the delivery room with the wife awaiting the arrival of our twins. Not better pass the uh, TV. Great show so far. Well, congratulations to you, my friend. Uh, you and your wife, absolutely uh, brilliant. Congratulations on the uh, on the toddlers. Uh, Chris Neal saying afternoon guys, afternoon to you, hope you're doing brilliantly. So it looks like that is correct then, air start. Andrew Albert saying fantastic stream today, so close to the action. Well I'm glad you've enjoyed it Andrew. Yesterday we got uh, more of the the sort of short haul aircraft. Today we've had quite a big uh, mixture of all the heavy aircraft 
here at Amsterdam Schiphol. Uh, Florian, who knows, maybe. Michelle saying this is uh, LCY on steroids, it pretty much is. Right, so that is the Air Star. There you go. So it looks like this will be an air start then guys on this. <coughs> Paul Reynolds, not a problem at all. Ian Mahoney, how you doing? Way to Milton Keynes. <laughs> Romo, uh, Romeo Oscar Bravo saying afternoon, Chris and the Mods. Hope you're having a great time in AMS. Great show, great views. Uh, we're having a, a great time here bringing all this to you. Florian saying I will visit uh, Amsterdam Schiphol soon. Aaron Campion, you take care, my friend. And remember, if you are liking what you're seeing, guys, please do hit the like button for us. We're going to see if we can head to the uh, 1,000 likes again today. Why not, eh? Joshua Leclerc, hello to you. Beautiful. Uh, Yusuf Fair, I'm doing absolutely fine and I hope you are too. Just waiting now, removing the chocks from the Sky Team livery 737 and then they'll be pushing that aircraft back. And looks like... Uh, Mark Crabtree saying a 15.35 on this aircraft. Looks like it's uh, leaving a bit early. Stuart saying hello Chris, good show uh, as normal. That's <laughs> just saying up the spurs. Current local time check here is 15, uh, 18, sorry, 1518 here. Have a read, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. So, just waiting for the push. <laughs> Stuart. <laughs> As I said, you're free to talk about anything there. Goosey Sam, brilliant. A uh, couple of days, Chris. Well, thank you so much, my friend. I'm, I'm glad that you've uh, enjoyed it. Great start to March and a brilliant end to February. It's, uh, it's nice seeing from this perspective. So, Goosey, thank you so much. I honestly appreciate that so, so much. And I hope you're keeping safe. Sassy Bob, how are you doing? Uh, John H, that is it, CET. That's Central European time, isn't it? And there she goes.
Catherine Green saying afternoon, Chris Mods and everyone. How are you doing? If you see what they're doing there, guys, they're just turning that aircraft straight around. So the uh, the Sky Team aircraft can just taxi straight out. Toby and Ann, loving it. Why are you saying tug spot in there? Mahoney. <laughs> Cassie King saying the tug driver has skills. That's great, isn't it? Watching it like that, that's brilliant. No messing about. Barry Fenwick, how you doing, Chris? Hope you're doing well. I'm doing very well, my friend, and I hope you are too. And Michael Car uh, Cardona saying afternoon from Germany. Afternoon to you. Hope you're keeping very well and safe. And anyone that is joining us that is brand new to the channel guys welcome along just a bit of a special show for us here at amsterdam yesterday and today ian clarkson saying the emirates is now expected at 16:40 our time <laughs> oh dear that's some uh, that's a very long delay on the uh, on the a380 Catherine green saying i'm so excited about being at amsterdam ship all this saturday Absolutely brilliant. It's a real shame that the uh, the A380, the Emirates, uh, has been delayed so much. I wonder what's causing the uh, the delay there, guys. Massive respect, though, to the tug drivers here. They do a fantastic job. Waiting now for the uh, the Sky Team. They start saying no, and no. I think she'll not be very happy with the delay on that A380. It's it's a shame. It is a real shame that it's been uh, delayed. I think it's just standard though. It, it, every time we seem to catch an Emirates aircraft, they really do seem to be uh, behind schedule. Clive W, it's great, isn't it? Joshua Leclerc. Uh, yes, it departed. It was one of the last aircraft that we uh, that we caught at the end of yesterday's show, uh, so it had departed, and it was uh, it was okay. I don't know what was causing it. It might have been something normal. They might have missed their slot. <coughs> Ian Finlay, no worries. Well, I do believe that they close up the uh, the terrace here during the winter months. They do close here at five o'clock local time, uh, so that's only about an hour and. 37 minutes that we've got left here um, up on this terrace bit where we currently are and until uh, obviously the summertime I do believe that they open it up until 9 o'clock so it'll be open during the summer till 2100 hours Uh, Mark Crabtree, yes, I do believe it's 427, uh, yes, uh, 9 o'clock English time or 10 o'clock here. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to go and get a, a bit of food in the, in the terminal and then, uh, and then head through security and probably 
and get some sleep on the plane, I reckon. Ian Finley saying the China 7-4 is going to the polar barn, typical. We've had such a mixture of uh, arrivals and departures off a of 0-9 here. I was hoping that we was going to be getting a 7-4. Uh, a Keith Garton saying 9 p.m. the summertime, correct, Chris? Obviously, we still are in a winter schedule at the moment, and I believe all that changes up around the end of this month, which is March now. So, flight control surface is checked. Dicky McVitty, afternoon all. How are you doing? Ian Fulcher saying great coverage from Amsterdam, Chris. Thank you very much, Ian. Hope you're doing well. So now just waiting on the uh, And there she goes, finally on the move. Uh, Fishley saying, uh, hey all, great stream today. Well, thank you so much. Hope you're doing absolutely fantastic. And welcome along everyone that is joining us. Pat Transit saying, summer and winter schedules are always parallel to summer, uh, winter time change. Oh, hang on. I don't know whether you might be able to see it, guys if we're over and the tap air cargo the a330 over there might just be able to see it yes that's our first time seeing that on the channel Right, the Sky Team now. I'm gonna be heading out for departure, so we'll uh, we'll wait for the departure, and another seven three inbound. Evelyn MD, thank you so much. Honestly, I appreciate that. Uh, Phil P. Well, let's hope. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, thank the MMA saying, uh, nice bro, off to Dan. Uh, how long are you staying for? Um, I'm only here until this evening. My flight leaves at 10 o'clock local time. Uh, so yeah, only here for, uh, well, until tonight. And it's been, uh, once again, a great time here broadcasting these views. It's uh, it's amazing. Dave Husway, afternoon to you. Uh, Joseph say Leonard MP saying, hi, greetings from Honduras. Loving the content. Well, thank you very much, Jose. Really appreciate that. My creator saying between weather there in Amsterdam, uh, better weather there in Amsterdam than it is in England. I was at Heathrow yesterday and it was <laughs> coldy and cloudy. Saying that it was very, uh, it was very misty here this morning when I'd woke up. Very, very misty here. Uh, a bit of the jet bridge action. Evelyn MD, thank you so much, Evelyn. Yeah. And remember, guys, if you are liking what you're seeing, please do hit the like button for us. We're going to see if we can hit the uh, thousand likes once again today. 
Oh, hang on, guys. Right, the Emirates A380 has just had its... Uh, well, one of its air bridges removed. <laughs> Benny saying good cone throw is... <laughs> I didn't even see that. Here, Finley saying the uh, Sapana uh, 747 on push at the cargo area. Once again, I do hope that it would uh, taxi past here and uh, head off for departure, but I don't think we're going to be that lucky. Now, if you have a look here, guys, you can probably see, if you have a look at that, the A380, the APU is running. And if we have a look round, it looks like all of the doors are currently closed. Uh, I believe. Yes, it looks like they are. So all of the uh, all of the doors are currently closed on that. Uh, Darty, uh, Sandy, play. I've got P3D. Uh, I have P3D. Oh wow, guys, hold on. Oh wow. Oh, look at all that. Oh wow! A mini air show going on here guys that is beautiful wow No way. That is absolutely beautiful. I wonder what's going on there then. I'll tell you what, I wonder if we can have a uh, closer look. That is incredible. You can see helicopter number four is over here, quite a some way away. So straight into land. That is very. That's beautiful, guys. So I wonder if we see it at that end. Yes, we will. It's like a mini air show that was that was beautiful well once again something very unexpected there guys all right John Hayes that was beautiful very nice so they've got the currently got the ops car sitting behind 
the Emirates. Now it looks like he's uh, moving. Well, uh, Dave saying they uh, that all four police, or it could be royalty. Well, there you go, guys. Something a little bit special for you. James Quidlin saying a great uh, display from the helicopters there. Uh, Pat Transit saying politicians come in from the Hay to connect through Amsterdam. Uh, Jim saying the uh, Sapama uh, Airlines 747 has pushed back. Well, let's, uh, fingers crossed guys. KW Airlines, yeah, that's not as uh, it's not as clear cut to Hong Kong as uh, as they make out, if that makes sense. Alison Tung saying, uh, yes, the Emirates looks like it's going uh, any minute. Catherine Green, thank you so much. As I said, it's taken a long time to uh, to get to this. Wayne saying we got a Qatar triple seven pushing, uh, pinging for push. Yeah, and Clarkson, uh, what, just. Uh, We'll just go with the flow, I think, with the uh, with the Emirates. Demon Dry, yeah, that was a lovely formation. Right, so they've Yeah, so as I said, guys, no idea what the helicopters were there for, um, but it was a lovely, uh, lovely show. Something nice to, to see. Uh, Christian Ahan saying, greetings from uh, Therese, saying uh, it's a long way to Schiphol. <laughs> how are you doing? Pete Keating, 1979, how are you doing, my friend? Hope you're doing well. Thanks, uh, the Emirates. A380 gets delayed pretty much like normal. Well, actually, it doesn't, guys. Here is the Emirates A380 on push. Wishing Kelly say, can you make those chopper come out again and pull some strings? We'll try. <laughs> right, so here we go then, guys. The Emirates A380 now being pushed back from stand here at Amsterdam Schiphol, and we'll get a close up on there. Alpha 6 Echo Uniform Delta. Aviation, uh, no, it was just uh, too far away from where I was, and it was a bit of a nightmare by public transport. Uh, Read172 saying, uh, these shows from Amsterdam have been awesome. Keep, uh, love the stream, keep it up. Well, thank you very much, Reed. I really, really appreciate that. Andy Apps, afternoon to you. Uh, Leanne Marie saying hello from... Uh, how are you doing? Right, so the Emirates A380 A3 now being pushed. Beautiful. Lovely, lovely views then, guys. Beautiful. Nick saying a little bit of a glitch on the uh, radar about that uh, A380, wouldn't surprise me at all. Sounds like they're just starting the APU now as well in front of me for the uh, Boeing 737-700. Helen W saying so close to the A380, it's almost uh, like being airside, absolutely beautiful. Kevin 757 saying great day everyone. Pull that back just a little bit. Drex Aviation saying hello from Dubai. Hello to you, my friend. Uh, David Snow saying a little jealous of my friend who is on that instead of me. I think uh, quite a lot of people probably are. 
800 likes. Thank you so, so much, guys. Honestly, I really, really appreciate that. Officially two hours, 15 minutes into the stream. Dave Husway, absolutely brilliant. Thank you so much. And Briggs Tony say, I take my hat off to you. I'm very impressed with your show. Well, thank you so much. Them kind words mean a lot. Uh, Wayne is saying uh, Alpha 6 Echo Uniform Delta, which is this A380 in front of us, delivered 30th of June 2016. So coming up to nearly seven years old. And nearly 1,200 of you lovely lot tuning in on a Wednesday afternoon. Thank you so, so much. Beautiful views, guys. So we'll just keep our eyes on this. Sandra L saying, great show, Chris. Good variation and nice uh, and good weather for a change. Thank you, Sandra. It's uh, yeah, a lot different, <laughs> a lot different to the uh, the weather we've had for the past few weeks. Oh, one tasker, thank you so much for that. Honestly, I really appreciate it. Carsten uh, Kolker saying hello from uh, Mulheim, Germany. How are you doing? I hope you're doing brilliant. Karen Monson saying 8, uh, 118 likes now. Incredible. There's Aviation saying they're still walking the dog. <laughs> Scott Hyde saying always enjoy the streams and watching these uh, incredible machines. Absolutely brilliant. Glad you're enjoying. So we're just going to wait for this. Uh, Clive Everly saying brilliant streaming Chris first class. Thank you so much Clive. Honestly, I really appreciate the uh, the kind words my friend I hope you keep him well All good though Clive I don't think the Etihad uh, Dreamliner though. I don't think that departs For quite a bit of time though guys, so we might be very unlucky with the uh, with the Etihad unfortunately Great show. Free uh, for free triple one parkway saying the roads look busy too. They do. Very busy. Roger saying an uh, awesome, uh, awesome shot of the uh, of the king. Just waiting for that to literally depart uh, to taxi out. And the apps correct. Peter saying the helicopters practice. Well, it'd be nice if uh, <laughs> I'd seen Air Force One turn up. I'm just going to get my uh, my charger out of the bag, guys. Two seconds. Just going to plug the battery in, guys. Two seconds. So, all plugged in now. Richard Multara saying there is a Qatar 747-800 uh, Fraser Julian, 1650 local. Joe Vino, well I'm, I'm glad you are my friend. Go out and do it, you won't be uh, disappointed. Uh, 
Catherine Green saying the king looks good on TV. I never ever normally see the A380 from this uh, from this perspective here. I've never known it to uh, to be towed and put here. Ian Finley saying uh, the Qatar has gone to the polder barn. Typical. It would have been lovely if we could have seen. Uh, we see the A380 depart. 09. Jim saying we've got the KLM 747 uh, 400 freighter from Miami about 18 minutes out. So the tug is still uh, in front of the A380 at the moment. You just see your flight control surfaces checked. Flaps are down. And the apps. Brilliant. And Finlay like saying uh, 36 right is open for arrivals. Beautiful. There is an Aero Mexico 787 as well, currently uh, taxiing around. That might be. Just in front, you might get that just in front of the uh, the Emirates. Jamie W saying it looks like it's waving to us almost. Uh, Chavs, this location is on top of the airport roof. If you uh, if you head out of arrivals, follow the signs for the Panorama Terrace, and all of this is open to you. The whole lot, it's it's all free. Andrew Alban, I agree. Beautiful area in Mexico as well, just in front of the uh, the beast. And the next uh, the next stream people asking we'll be on Friday and we will be at London City Airport. May and Marsh saying the stream is great this afternoon it's like working next to a beautiful aquarium like that. Chavs no worries. Right so the Emirates is now on the move so we'll keep our eyes uh, peeled on that at the second. There is a 737 currently uh, taxiing in. We'll keep our eyes on the uh, on the beast for the moment. <laughs> May and Marshy, that's a good analogy. I like that. <laughs> And yep, she's heading off to Dubai. And now she goes, guys. Beautiful shot of that. I would have loved to have seen that depart 09. Well, 
shell. <laughs> it is indeed. So. Everybody saying love watching the, the plane, true king of the skies. So, uh, as you've seen by both of the streams, guys, from one viewing area, you get two different, uh, two different, entirely different views, which is so, so nice to see. So, watch a bit of. Uh, our movements. Beautiful. Wayne is saying the A380 is following two 747s for departure. So it looks like the A380 is heading out of the polder barn, if I am reading that correctly, which is such a shame. Catherine Green saying it'll be nice to see all the different liveries. It is. It's, it's lovely to see all the uh, all the different liveries. Oh, one size. <laughs> That's a good analogy as well. Right, guys. Does anyone have any info on when the Etihad Manchester, uh, Manchester City livery will be leaving? I'm sure that uh, I saw it depart about six o'clock last night, or one of them depart about six o'clock last night. Dan Boy asking how everyone is. I'm doing fine, Dan. I hope you are as well. Hope everyone in the chat and watching at home is too. Yeah, unfortunately, the uh, the polder barn is quite a way away from uh, from here. But uh, the next time I do come out here, I will hire a car or maybe even drive over here, and uh, we'll head to the polder barn and we're going to see uh, some arrivals and departures. Right, so Reese said, uh, 2056, right, is that when it departs? So there we go, guys. We won't be seeing the, uh, <laughs> the Manchester City livery of the Etihad uh, departing from here. Clive W, it is, it's, uh, there's a lot going on. When there is a lot going on, it's like, okay, as camera, where do you point it? Where do you go? And Stuart, yes, you are correct. The, uh, the airport, uh, this viewing terrace actually closes in an hour, guys. Uh, they're still on their winter schedule. Um, so it's, uh, it closes at 1700 local time, which is an hour and seven minutes away uh, from here. Uh, Yusuf Fett, no, I don't, unfortunately. I don't, uh, I don't speak Dutch. Uh, Romeo, Oscar Bravo, yeah, it's, it's a long, uh, a long time away. Liam Finlay, you are correct. A380 is going to 36 left, which is the polar barn. But we will get that next time, guys. I promise you. As I say, though, for when I'm on foot or when it's just uh, me with all this sort of camera equipment and no transport, this place is the ideal place to do a stream because I can get to it by a bus um, or by a shuttle bus, by a tram, uh, anything. I, I can get to the airport very quickly and very easily so it's the best and most sort of ideal place to do a uh, uh, a stream especially to keep the, the like the cost down very low and things like that you know Cesar Medal saying hello again from Mexico City nice to uh, watching you at uh, every different airport well thank you so much we try our hardest yeah half a clock that would be nice a nice uh, <laughs> a nice lock-in it's a shame because along this side yesterday guys they had uh, Delta A350s 
along here that were sort of parked up. Wayne, I know. Uh, Reese Allen, I'll uh, I'll let the season play out and then we can go from there, my friend. Uh, that is a dream. Uh, Dan Boy asking, is that a dream liner in the background? Yes, it is. Seven eight seven dash ten. Susanna Bentley, no worries. So a few bits of ground ops at the second, just while we're waiting for uh, some more aircraft, guys. Dragonfire 007 saying afternoon. Afternoon to you. Hope you're doing well. Stephen, I was saying the sun is out in uh, Chippenonga. Yeah, John P. It's a long way. So it definitely is a long way. Karen Monster's saying, I like this location, Chris. Some really, uh, some really good views on the runway and the gates. It is nice. And as I said, it's easy to get to when you're uh, when your only thing is uh, sort of being able to walk. Or well, that is your only mo mode of uh, transport. Webo, how you doing? And Cassie King, yes, I agree. Right in front of us, the aircraft in front of us, this one here, the towel, that will be pushing back in a moment as well. Potentially, we may have uh, a 737, oh, sorry, a 747 landing to the right of us, which I believe may be the Qatar, but we'll keep our, uh, our eyes peeled. No, just removing the jet bridge right now. Clive, take care, mate. Um, Got to go and deal with the boss, not a problem. Have a great one, Clive. We'll speak to you again soon, mate. Hope you're doing well. just in front of us, beacon still not popping at the second. Uh, Asma Yasfani saying good afternoon from Norwich, how are you doing? How are you? I uh, hope you're doing well. Cassie King, that's exactly a hundred percent. Nell W, I agree, and I will get there. As I say though, I need. Uh, I need a form of transport to get there. Jeremy <laughs> Yingstaus saying uh, hi Chris and chat from Wisconsin. How are you doing? In the summer I think it'll be lovely. <laughs> so yeah, uh, we'll see. Catherine Green saying, what a fabulous place. You'll uh, you'll enjoy it, Catherine, when you're over here, I promise you. If they like saying, uh, Chris, check out Zurich, I'm sure they have a similar sound. Yes, they do. They have in Zurich. I've been there as well. They've got a, a great setup over there. <laughs> I said, there's so many places that I'd love to uh, to travel around in Europe. I just, I'm doing it step by step, though, guys. William Simpson saying hello from Brixton, hello to you. Roy J saying Chris and dear mods, it was my pleasure to be here. Thanks for the, uh, the great stream. Take care and see you later. Safe flight tonight. Thank you so much, Roy. As I said, I'm glad you've, uh, you've all enjoyed the past two days, guys. These beautiful close-ups. The 
creative button, you are correct. Right, so they are now pushing KLM the 737-700 that is currently in front of us. And that is Golf Quebec. <laughs> So 737-700. Uh, Mark Garner, I've heard that as well, yeah. Stuart has that saying, I've loved the past two days, what a treat. Inspired me to visit myself. Do it guys, there's not many other places like this. Uh, Left. Uh, Jack Glick, flight is about 40 to 50 minutes to uh, to the UK from Amsterdam. Ooh. There is a One World Air Maroc 737 as well that's just uh, turned up here so we may get very lucky to see that. Mark Garner, glad you've loved it mate. Mark Garner saying I've been looking up, fl uh, up flights for uh, about June time. Go for it, my friend. If you can get a good deal, do it. Uh, Nell W saying, what is the GQ above the, uh, the windshield? That is the last two digits or the last two letters of the registration. 915 likes as well. We're coming up to uh, nearly the thousand guys. Brilliant stuff. Full, uh, 85 away. Actually, we will get to see the uh, the One World livery of the Royal Air Maroc as well. We've been treated. Oh, hang on, guys. Where do we look? Oh my. So many different ways to look here. Right, so now we've got to wait for the uh, the Qatar 747-8 freighter, which I believe is uh, up very soon. Roy J, take care. So, some of you wanted to see this. <laughs> Another new livery scene. Beautiful shots. 747 stunner. And who was that? Uh, Simon Dickens says uh, we've got the Sopana down in about five. That is all good. I'm going to keep a lookout and an eye. Please just the Martin Air uh, 747 operated as uh, KLM Cargo. Russ, it's great when it's like that. Momo saying uh, hi from Germany. Craig Howard, don't worry about it, mate. <laughs> Jane Chapman saying this has been brilliant, Chris. It's been uh, something so different, hasn't it, Jane?
as I said I'm so glad that uh, we're able to bring this to you <laughs> Comrade Row. <Rowe. laughs> yeah, there is. Uh, that's the problem. Six runways. Where do you where do you choose? <laughs> where do you choose? Where do we go from here? Catherine Grease saying, "I'm like uh, I'm like a little kid here. So excited. As I said, when you are here, you will enjoy every single minute of it." It's uh, it, it's just incredible. Simon Farr, take care. Currently five past three in the UK and 16.05 here in the Netherlands. Uh, Ian Blackwood saying hi everyone. Happy St David's Day from Wales. Happy St David's Day. Uh, Mayhem Marshy, thank you so much. How can Sam? We got 50 likes to a thousand. Brilliant stuff. Two hours, 41 minutes officially on the stream. Keeping an eye out for the seven fours. EIO saying uh, good day Chris, great show as always, hello to all from Iowa, how are you doing? And Aviation Geeks and uh, Aviation Blue, uh, so KLM Blue looks so good, it does doesn't it? It is a lovely, lovely blue colour. Glenn Carson saying uh, hello, uh, Simon Dickerson, ho okay so we'll keep an eye out and hopefully we'll get the 7-4. Uh, the Not only that, it's very relaxing and chilled out here, guys, isn't it? So peaceful. You can just lose hours being here. Uh, Philip Ward. I don't know. I haven't been in the bar up here. Oh, hang on, right, the Qatar 74-8 as well, just uh, landing. Oh, very nice, guys. We might get a beautiful shot of that taxi in back. Hopefully. I wonder if you can see the, the towel fin. Yes, we might get a beautiful shot of that. Avgeek, no, hope you're doing very, very well. Yes, look at that, guys. Come on. Robert Brun saying hello from San Diego. How are you doing? Uh, Lafayette Marius saying hello from La Sofa, saying it's 1707 here. Hope you're doing well. And a queen. I know we all love the king, guys, but this beauty lives on forever. Beautiful guys, look at that. Just look at that. Please say it goes right. Please say it goes right. Right, so the Qatari hasn't uh, answered back. Oh, wow. Thank you. 
the air ambulance has literally just got over the top of the airport as well here behind me uh, to my left chav sound a stunning piece of machinery right there what a beauty richard waring saying love 747s just look at that i love the uh, the view that you get looking into the engines the engine spinning it's just Uh, EI asking any uh, waves from the pilots. Yes, every single pilot that has been in front of us has uh, waved, waved to us on the stream. It's been beautiful. Such a great show of airmanship. Just beautiful, guys. Wow, I'm so glad that that happened. Absolutely phenomenal, guys. Fortunately, with the terminal just in front of us, we won't uh, get to see it head back. But beautiful, nonetheless. Playing cast, saying, uh, I find it amazing how you can take the show on the road so effectively, Chris. Such an impressive operation you have going on. Major kudos. As I said, it doesn't... It, it takes a lot of time to get to these places. I mean, the start of the stream this morning, we had a few sort of uh, internet blips, but that was just because of where we're standing. And now we're three hours into the stream, enjoying it, mate. So honestly, I really, really appreciate it. Have a read some fantastic shots there, Chris. Uh, Dan Boy, yes, Lufthansa. Uh, Lufthansa still fly the 7-4s. Ali Katzan made my day. Beautiful, isn't it? He's saying you cannot rep uh, replace the 747. You can't. I agree. It's uh, an irre irreplaceable machine. Dan Bossan might have to have a look. Enjoy it, mate. Uh, Mayhem Marsh is saying, got to shoot. See you Friday. Not a problem at all. Ooh, where's that wind come from? Air Aviation, same blue, very blue here. The Qatar is still uh, taking its time taxiing around. Catherine Green saying fabulous stream. It's been nice, hasn't it? Nice few hours. But if I can, uh, you might only just get the uh, the top of her head over the top there. Uh, Dan Boy, when I see one uh, for real actually in front of me I'll uh, I'll let you know it looks like an amazing aircraft at the moment Andy Williams saying gorgeous couldn't agree more my friend Thirty-three likes to one thousand likes. Nearly there, guys. Thank you so much. Catherine Green. Yeah, apparently Frankfurt's really good as well. If I have to say, spoiling us, Chris. <laughs> I wish I could give you more, guys. Honestly, I, I really do. As I said, it's just I'm getting used used to Amsterdam with uh, all of the runways it's got and things like that. And, when you fly over here without any modes of transport, you've only got uh, like public transport to, to deal with. Sometimes uh, like things like the polder balm are uh, just a little bit out of uh, out of touch. Bruce, thank you so much for that. Honestly, I really really appreciate that, mate. Well, hopefully the soup. No, uh, what was that getting in with that? Peter Bosey is saying if you're lucky with the weather, it's wet and cold over here. You made the the, the, the right choice. 
it's cold over here don't let the uh, the beautiful day uh, don't let that how do I put it sort of trick you don't let it trick you guys it is uh, still windy and it is quite cold uh, Don out wood the only thing that doesn't fit in uh, in hand luggage is my uh, my tripod and I have to use checked checked baggage for that oh, Jason Holmes agree <laughs> Javiation no as I said I'm I'm pretty good I'm I'm pretty warm I'm wrapped up warm I've got all my snow boots on and my, my big gloves my big coat so I'm I'm warm I'm all right So potentially we may have another 74 that's turning up so if that is the case uh, now saying it's sunny here in Belgium right uh, really sunny and nice from the right side of the window but really cold outside yeah, that's what it's here right now really warm like once the sun's on you it's really warm uh, Eckhart Lagerbus and uh, hello together from Frankfurt. How are you doing? Uh, Dan boy, it might be about six or seven degrees here. Oh, yes, you were right, guys. And the third or fourth queen of the show. Beautiful guys. Wow, we've been treated with the seven fours today. Tina York, thank you very much. Alley Cat, so many seven fours here at Amsterdam. Uh, KGI, yes, I think uh, we followed this aircraft in. As I said, the uh, our flight from London followed this in. Just beautiful. Right, and guys, uh, my flight back tonight, if anyone does want to uh, track it on radar box or on flight radar, um, my flight number is, oh, what are we? Tina's just posted that up there. My flight number is BA0427, and it departs Amsterdam at, uh, at 10 o'clock. So if you want to, uh, if you want to track my flight obviously we'll be making some uh, I'll be making some flight videos of that as well but uh, I've got a feeling that it's going to be 09 operations still in uh, in use at LHR so unfortunately we might not get the, uh, the beautiful views of uh, the city Catherine Green thank you so much for that honestly Catherine I really appreciate that Flight number is BA0427, and that is the, uh, the flight number. Dwayne Curley, how are you doing? Right, so it's uh, chilled out a little bit now. Absolutely beautiful. Go 
Chris, you'll get a beautiful view of Redden over my house. What more do you need? <laughs> Well, I, you know what? It's all good as long as we can see something out the window because it is going to be uh, it's going to be pitch black. So as long as we can see something, I suppose it's all right. Very brooking it is an A319, uh, A319. Okay. 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 Uh, Peter Mueller, there is uh, hit and miss. Not really direct. This is more, I would say, for sort of close up and ground uh, ground actions. So we've got an, uh, an Emirates 777 in as well. NJ saying hello from uh, Asen, the Netherlands. How are you doing? Jim, that is so nice to see things like that. I have just seen the, uh, the Emirates triple, but I don't know whether that's gonna roll out as far down here. It might have uh, already slowed. Webo, how you doing? No, it looks like a, I may have just missed the triple. I'm going to keep my eyes built on the 7-3, which is going to be uh, getting ready to be pushed back. Uh, Dan Boy, the 747-400. That, that for me, the best, the best aircraft. It's beautiful. It was just amazing. Richard Waring saying, uh, wife Pam started watching too. Well, thank you very much, Richard. Hello to you both. <laughs> Michelle Johnson, brilliant stuff. And guys, if does anyone know if at LHR, are they still on 09 operations or are they on uh, two sevens? That would be nice to know. I'm not going to. Uh... Jacques Bueller saying a Korean 9509 diverted to Amsterdam. Ah, right, okay. Catherine Green saying I'm going to ship off for six hours then flying back to Newcastle via Childhood Ghoul. Very nice. Dane Caster, zero nines, yeah I had a feeling that would be the case. Ah well. I'd put my seat and sat on the left hand side of the aircraft now. <laughs> yeah, Cass, I know. Typical. <coughs> That's a king, red in white night. <laughs> I'll have to have a look into our routing. saying hello from Niagara Falls, no, uh, new to your channel. Well, thank you so much for, uh, for tuning in. I hope you're doing fantastic and welcome along. Yeah, damn boy, not a problem.
So they've got aircraft once again heading out on uh, zero nines. Bridge still attached to this 7 3. Uh, Ian Black was saying hopefully be at uh, Shiphole later this month to fly back to, uh, oh, to Cardiff. Brilliant stuff. Um, we hit a thousand likes. Thank you so, so much, guys. Honestly, much, much appreciated to every single one of you. Lovely lot. Company officially on the clock now. Three hours and one minute. Absolutely brilliant. And we're coming up here, local time to 16.25. Unfortunately, in 30 minutes time, the roof is closed uh, due to the, the summer schedule, oh sorry, the winter schedule that they are still on, which is very, very unfortunate. But in the, uh, in the summertime, when the, weather is, uh, when the weather is good, they're open until uh, 9 p.m. Looks like they're using 09s again. Such a shame. They were using them uh, sooner. We probably could have had them uh, them 74 departures. Airbus Tat saying uh, support from Hong Kong. Well, thank you so much. Honestly, God, I can't thank you enough. A thousand likes. It's just incredible. It's near on every stream. It's it's, it's brilliant. Absolutely great. Michelle Johnson, thank you so much. Uh, Ian Clarkson saying EK9903 uh, rolling to nine. Oh. Oh, Ian Clarkson, yeah. It's a shame, I've just seen uh, a LATAM cargo. 7-6 over there as well. Ooh. So Jetbridge uh, still attached on the 7-3. If we have a look over there, Latam Cargo 7-6. Michelle saying, yeah, swap with them. To be honest with you, I am hoping on the flight out here, it was very, very quiet. I'm hoping potentially the flight back may be very quiet, which means that I can sort of uh, chop and change, shall we say. No, Dave Udon, unfortunately, I, I, I won't be uh, visiting or frequenting any, any drinking establishments uh, today, my friend. I've got to drive uh, once, once I get back to Heathrow. So, uh, yeah, unfortunately, it's a uh, tea, tea soft drink for me. And we hit Tartanator, thank you so much. Alley Cat, brilliant. Andy Williams saying we've got the, uh, the Emirates 777 freighter next to the part of 09. Beautiful. Latam Cargo. I wonder what's uh, anyone know what that Latam Cargo is doing, guys? Is that uh, is that heading out? Is that just a ride? Uh, now, listen. I, I never when I'm when I'm like working or I'm I've got to go anywhere. I never drink and drive. I never never ever do that. That's just uh, silly. Absolutely silly. Yeah. 
Wow. That was up very early, the Emirates Triple. Tony L saying that's heading to, oh, is that heading to, oh, somebody's heading to Frankfurt. Uh, Nicola Cart saying we've got a KLM 747 as well, nine minutes out from Miami. Wow, very quickly in the air. Dave Husway, thank you so much, mate. Honestly, I really appreciate that. I really do, thank you. Wayne is saying, looks like the left hand heading over for departure on 09. That should be nice. How you doing? Ian Clarkson, take care. And Ryan Carlin, thank you so much for that. Yeah, Karen, agreed. Uh, Jacques Muller saying this one's coming in, or oh, this one was inbound from Helsinki. So just waiting now for the uh, the KLM 73 to be pushed back. Uh, Peter Muller saying KLM 747 cargo from Miami arriving in about six minutes. Perfect. Mr. Ziffel saying better weather in the Netherlands, uh, in the Netherlands than in Arizona. <laughs> I'm wondering if potentially tonight then we might get a 09 departure. Get a lovely shot as well of the uh, the Latam cargo passing past us. Ryan Garland, thank you so much. Hopefully, Michelle. Yeah, wingtip Wednesday. <laughs> And the Latam Cargo, the 7.6. Uh, Mark Crabtree, thank you very much, my friend. Such a shame 09 wasn't being used. About 40 minutes ago, we could have got some lovely shots of them uh, departing 74s and the A380. Yeah, Ryan Garland, thank 
Uh, Marcel Decker, how are you doing? Can you name a few Dutch words? No, unfortunately I can't. I need to, uh, I need to... Learn a bit more, shall we say. <laughs> Kevin Ensign, great viewing spot, memories of the old Queen's building. I know. Uh, lots could be learnt from uh, many other airports around the world. Andy Williams, okay mate, so it'll be a polder. I had a feeling, so it'll be a long taxi out. That's not a problem. The longer I can spend on the uh, on the aircraft, the better, I suppose. Uh, transport guy, yes, I head back tonight. I head back later this evening, shall I say. Blairs, take care. D Leach saying watching live for a little bit and then have to take off. We'll, uh, we'll see the replay later on, not a problem at all. <sighs> Airplane is Wildflug. I think I've got that. No, I think I've got that. <laughs> <coughs> Nicola Carter saying that there is a KLM 74 on approach as well, so hopefully we should be able to uh, get the roll out of that at least. Andy Williams. Tartanator, no, unfortunately not, mate. No, no, you, you shouldn't. You shouldn't really ask that either. <laughs> no, close enough. Yeah, there's a Transavia just turned up a seven three. Benny, I just said no. Dave Husway saying uh, no problems, but I'm sure happy to support Fantastic Channel. Sorry, I'm a bit of a lurker. It's been a while, but I watch when I can. Not a problem. Not a problem at all. Listen, as I say, lurk. You're all free to do that. John H saying the Latam headed I to runway nine. Which is very good. We should get a lovely, uh, lovely shot then, hopefully, of the LATAM 76. Uh, Simon Dickinson, Sam, my, uh, my A319. Uh, Papa Mike just arrived at, uh, at Amsterdam doing the double. I think I've just seen it as well. That If that's only just arrived seconds ago, I did see the uh, the BA aircraft over there to my right-hand side. So it'd be nice knowing that she's backwards and forwards. Oh, wow. That was off like a lightning bolt. Oh, very nice.
It's hard, mate. Un un unfortunately, uh, while I understand that, it it's, you shouldn't really be advertising your yourself to all of our uh, all of our our, uh, our channel. You know, it's a bit that's a bit not right. You know. Gary Crasson, hello from uh, Stansted. How are you doing, mate? Very, very quick for the uh, for the LATAM. Richard Brown's had a cracking shot of the uh, of the LATAM departing. Can't believe how quick it was up, honestly. Peter Mueller saying uh, LATAM uh, is also off to Frankfurt, so probably only low fuel and only half loaded. Oh wow. I think that was zero is that zero four over there I think. Like a private a private terminal. <coughs> Nicholas and the uh, the 74, which is that 74 over there. 747 heaven today, guys. I agree with that. I mean, it takes a lot of time to, to build a YouTube channel. Yeah, I, I just don't agree with that, you know. Oh, Jim is saying that there's a silkway heading towards 09. Are we going to be lucky then, Jim? Yeah? JP, thank you so much. And Nick Smith, thank you so much for the kind words, my friend. I really appreciate that. Honestly, thank you. Uh, Marina Mello, thank you for that as well. I really appreciate it. Roberta Gomez, how are you doing? KGR, I thought it was. Yeah, that was over. That's runway, that's 04, isn't it? Runway 04. Looks like. Uh, I really would hope then if we could get that Silkway aircraft uh, out, that might be one of our last ones, guys, because this uh, this up here apparently closes in 17 minutes now. Or Blick Fang. There you go, my friend. Yeah, Karen, as I say, I, I, I will help anyone, but if it's someone sort of uh, new to the channel that's that's asking can they promote themselves it's not it's not really nice to do Big Fang how you doing right then guys it looks like the uh, the Silkway might be the last one I don't want to sort of push it here I know that we're gonna be uh, I know that it closes at 1700 which is 17 minutes away but I don't want to be uh, the last one sort of thrown out of here if that makes sense Aviation Geek saying the Silkway 747-F is going to be awesome. It would be lovely if we could uh, have seen it taxi past us. Nick Fang saying Godspeed the Transavia. Evelyn MD, fantastic. Nell W saying gorgeous. Ken G, how you doing? Hope you're doing well. 
Oh, what is this? Yes, it is. Beautiful. Seven four seven heaven here. We're back out. KGI, thank you. And uh, yes, this does shut at uh, 2100, which is 9 p.m. So 8 p.m. Uh, UK time. This shuts up here in the uh, in the summer. Unfortunately, we are still on the. Uh, unfortunately, we are still on the winter schedule. Kenji, thank you very much. I should get the right hand turn, hopefully as well. A little. Love the 7-4. We've been very, very lucky today, guys, with uh, all of these 7-4 arrivals <coughs> and departures. Right, David Cook, how you doing? Jeffrey Green, lovely. And uh, Scott McCawson saying, afternoon, Chris. Thanks for your efforts, mate. Always enjoyable. I'm glad you've enjoyed, my friend. It's been a lovely... Uh, Lovely few hours, actually a lovely two days, shall we say. Uh, Jamie W, thank you ever uh, as ever, Chris. Lovely mod, see you on Friday. See you too, my friend. Right then, guys. Uh, I will do Aviation Geek. Right, so we're currently 16.46 here, guys. Everything shuts down in about 14 minutes. So I've got to pack away all of the equipment and everything like that that we've got here so I think just as it sort of uh, takes that time I think we're going to uh, wind down the stream and we're going to enjoy cold coffee how are you uh, doing uh, Steden part of the sky Thank you, Chris. Not a problem at all. Right then, guys. So, the terrace closes in 13 minutes. I've got to pack everything down here now. Um, and obviously, uh, and head back downstairs. I'm going to go and grab something to eat. And then I'm going to go and, uh, I'm going to go and charge me, me phone. And uh, chill out until, obviously, our uh, my flight back in about four and a quarter hours. Uh, no, sorry. Five and a quarter hours, actually. Uh, back to London. Um, so I do hope that you've enjoyed. Obviously, can't wait till uh, the summertime. We'll definitely head out here in the uh, in the summer, guys, and we'll make absolute uh, best of it of all of this uh, roof terrace until nine o'clock. And we'll try and do a massive, massive, uh, long stream from here, which I think will be an absolute shout. But I hope you've enjoyed the past uh, two days of uh, something different guys something different than uh, the airports that we normally normally cover so i really do hope you've uh, you've had a blast thank you very much to the mods obviously uh, for keeping everyone safe and doing a, a fantastic job thank you uh, for everyone that's donated click the like button and uh, and subscribed and uh, thank you so much for all the support guys once again as i say it means uh, it means the world and i've had uh, a blast and i really do hope that you have uh, but we won't be live from Gatwick tomorrow just because of the time my flight arrives back into London uh, this evening and by the time it takes me to uh, to drive home it's going to be a uh, uh, probably a late evening uh, early hours of the morning that I uh, that I turn up into uh, into my house but there will be uh, um, sorry there will be flight videos as long as I can get some uh, some decent footage and that'll all be sort of uh, uploaded and posted up guys but uh, what can I say? Thank you so much to each and every single one of you. It's been uh, an absolute blast here, guys. And uh, 
you know what a massive thumbs up to the lovely people at Shippo Airport for welcoming aviation spotters to uh, to amazing views like this so uh, there we go right uh, my flight is if you want to track us BA 427 BA 0427 departs local time at 10 p.m. here uh, in the evening so uh, all good guys uh, but no listen um, glad you've all enjoyed it so I will see you all on Friday back at London City but other than that guys have a fantastic Wednesday have a great one and we'll see you all again very soon much love take care be safe guys enjoy